Okay, so quick disclaimer on this video. Um, I'm going to talk about duckling care, but this is for domesticated ducks that you may be raising. This is not for wild ducklings or ducks. Um, if you find a wild duck that's injured, or a baby duck, or any any wild animal really, contact your local wildlife center. Uh, they can help you on what to do with those. But a lot of times, possessing those is illegal, so. Domestic ducks only. Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. I have set up a little temporary brooder box for the injured duckling I found. Um, if you didn't see it for some reason, I went out to take some footage this morning and there was a duck that was just on the ground not really going anywhere, chirping and acting like it has a lot of energy, but uh, it wasn't able to really stand up too much. It could kind of stand up and hobble a step and then fell back over. So I picked it up, pulled it out of the, um, out of the uh, duck run and it has a wound under its leg. Treating it myself, I'm using uh, vitericin. This is, or however you pronounce it, I don't know, I've only ever read it. It's uh, topical wound care. It says, da da da, for wounds, cuts, lacerations, abrasions, sores, and skin irritations. And I've actually healed other birds with this stuff. We did have a dog try to eat one of our ducks once. <laughs> That was a that was an interesting experience, and um, I used that stuff, and it had a pretty nasty wound, but it healed up fine. So here's what we have: our little ducklings. Okay, so the what did you name the yellow one, Des? Um, I named the yellow one Buddy. Okay, so the yellow one is Buddy, and what's the black one? What'd you name that one? So Buddy and Soap. <laughs> I don't know. Kids are weird. Anywho, um, even though soap is not injured, if you're ever going to pull a duckling out, well, any ducks really, if you have an injury and you're going to isolate them for an injury, not because they have a like a disease or something like that, but a wound, anything like that, you want to put them with a friend because ducks are incredibly social and these guys will just peep away until they can have a buddy back in there. The other thing is if recovery takes a little longer, you want this duck to have somebody it's bonded with when it goes back into the pen. So this is his friend. I think it's actually a full bred Cayuga. This is the only one we've gotten all black out of all the hatchlings. So um, and we do have a male Cayuga and a couple female Cayugas. So I think that's what this one's going to be which is pretty cool because uh, I don't know it's hard hard to say what the other ones are. They all look mixed. Actually they all kind of look like Anconas but anywho. <laughs> oh there's a little doo-doo. Thank you. Thank you for that on camera. Um, yeah, so I'll keep you posted on, on Buddy's progress, and hopefully it'll heal up just fine. Another reason you keep them together is they will... There's something hanging from your chin, my friend. Ooh. Um, they will snuggle up and keep each other warm. We're in a warm house, so they will be fine. But I may give them some, some heat source anyway, just because they are so tiny. But this guy, I'm not sure how old Buddy is. Soap is at least... Uh, a week old now. Actually, maybe two weeks old now. Okay. There we have it. We'll keep you posted. Okay. Sorry. We are in the kitchen of my house, and I have three children, so <laughs> excuse the noise in the background. They're playing around in their bedroom. Um, well, I figured you probably want to see these guys more than I, my fugly mug, so while I talk about duckling care, let me just put the camera on them. Um, so... A couple tips if you are going to deal with an injured doll, stretch that foot, an injured duckling, uh, just some things I wanted to mention. First of all, assess the duck before you do anything. If it is in mortal peril and you're pretty sure there's no way it's recovering, then you need to consider doing the merciful thing. I know it's hard to do and not everyone can do it. Maybe find somebody else that can do it for you. But if we have the ability as pet owners or animal owners to end an animal suffering that has no chance of recovery, then that's what we need to do. I've had to do it before with a duckling and it was awful and there was a lot of tears. <laughs> I was really upset about it, but it was what was best for the animal. So, but if the duck looks like it is going to make it, this is the situation that I would suggest, which is take the injured animal out 
and bring it inside or put it somewhere where you can keep a close eye on it and bring a buddy with it. If your duckling is kind of in a questionable state, you're not sure if it's going to pull through or not, it might be a good idea to take two extra ducklings just because in case something happens to one of them, the other one still has a friend that it's bonded to and hanging out with. Um, you know, if the, say for example, it has an injury and, oh my gosh, it's so cute when they stretch. Um, if it has an injury and it looks like it's going to be okay and then after a week or two, you know, the worst case scenario happens. Um, you want to be able to put these ducks back in with the rest of your flock and let it have another duck that it's paired up with just in case the flock is a little weird about accepting it back in. So consider putting three ducks together instead of just two. Oh my gosh! So it, there's the answer to another question if everyone wanted to know if ducks yawn. Yes they do. Morning y'all. It's the next day. Let's see how that duckling is doing. I haven't checked yet. It's probably, oh my goodness. Well, the duck's fine. You look good, ducky. Your area on the other hand is a disaster. Okay, we're all cleaned up in here. I just took out the warm water bottle because they're not even using it. They weren't using it yesterday. I checked on them last night. They weren't using it then, so I just took it out. Um, looks like our little friend buddy is moving okay. But uh, he's definitely still still getting around with some trouble but I set them down on that side of the box and he made it over here and is drinking water and today he's able to get in between the water and the food as you can see so he's not quite ready to put full support on that leg but that's okay because he's doing better he's still flopping around a little bit but he's getting to where he needs to go yesterday I had to hold him up to help him eat a little bit so that's good news I'm hoping that maybe in a day or two He'll be uh, steady enough to put back in the pen with the other one. Good morning, everyone. It's day three of the duckling situation and interesting development. Um, last night, Troy went to take care of the ducks to feed him and change their water and everything for the night. And uh, he said that there was one out there that seemed to be limping and he tried to get it, but KD, which is our crested Ancona, the kind of white one with like the little puff on her head, was protecting all the ducklings, that one was running around with the other ones as best as it could. And so when he reached out to get it, she attacked him. <laughs> so he said I was more than welcome to try and get the duckling. So I went out there and I had no trouble at all. And now it's in the box. In the box with the others. Hi ducklings. So um, I've checked it over and it looks like it's either got a dislocated leg, but it seems to still have function at the top. So, and it doesn't seem to be broken. There's no swelling or heat or anything like that that would indicate that there is something going on that was like an injury. It may just be that this duckling was born without use of its leg. So, um, it kind of keeps it curled up, doesn't use it too much. The one that my son named Buddy, this one in the middle here, seems to be doing better in some ways and worse in other ways so it's getting around and I've seen it put weight on its feet and actually stand up pretty tall but then it sits back down which means that it might be recovering from the actual wound okay but now I'm concerned about some sort of maybe infection going on that I'm unable to treat. Let's see he's kind of holding his eye closed that's kind of classic I'm not feeling so hot behavior. So, and you can see the, our new friend in the back there, his eyes pretty open, he's very alert with his eyes, so. Um, what this all comes down to is, I have a contact who's about an hour away, and she is a, a animal rescue worker. Um, she takes care of all sorts of animals, and on her own property, she's got some ducks and geese and actually there's a whole slew of animals there she's got the experience and the means to help these guys that I just simply don't have so I think their best bet is going to be to take them down to the sanctuary to um, help them recover so come this Saturday we're gonna make a little trip down there I think as long as everyone's still around and ready to be helped um, 
And depending on how these two do, I don't know. This little Kia Yuga here, he may either be a travel buddy or we're going to put him back in with a flock and we'll just take these two down together. On the plus note, she has a few ducklings that are the same age right now. And uh, these guys might be able to join their flock when they recover. So it's going to be a positive thing for them, I think. I'm a little worried about the guy in the middle, but um, we'll see what happens. You never know. I've seen animals that look like they're in worse shape than this recover and vice versa. So we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching. Ooh. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. <laughs> I swear I did not tell him to do that. <laughs> <laughs>